clippers. It is worth the money to buy a good pair of clippers that are at least $100, $125. If you buy the cheap ones, the motors don't last very long. I have a number 10 blade. Put a little bit of clipper oil on there. Hi, Chloe. Chloe's never been groomed before. So, this is going to be a first. I have her on a leash. I do have a table that I can put them on, but they're too big for me to get up there. So, I'm going to start with her head, because that is the most detailed part, and I like to get that over with. So, I'm going to turn on our clippers. And I'm going to start right behind her eyes. And go down with my number 10 blade. And get her head. Her ears. <laughs> I like to plug the ear when I do the inside so it doesn't, it's not so loud. Okay, you need to turn this way, sweetheart. Here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So get the ears done. Sometimes they're kind of ticklish about the ears, but usually if you plug it up so it's not so loud, you don't have as big a problem with it. Okay. So get the underside of the ear. a line that goes from the outside of the eye to the outside of their jaw. So that's where you want to use your number 10 blade to start at the outside of the eye. And if it, <laughs> you have to close your mouth. Now, if you have seen schnauzers, you see a lot of Airedales with a schnauzer cut. You don't want that for your Airedale. So, in, you don't go straight across the eyebrows. You want to put a little V right between the eyes. Okay? So you've got a little bit of a V right there between her eyeballs. Okay, so we're going to go down her back. Now for the shoulders, for an Aerodil, you want a narrow shoulder look. So we're gonna go down, she hasn't lost all of her puppy black right here, but we're gonna go down about to her shoulder with this number 10 blade. Okay, once you've got the narrow shoulder look here, you wanna come down the front of the shoulder and the side. To avoid having a really abrupt short and then furnishings, I put a comb on. Oops, this one doesn't fit these blades. You want to put a comb on so you don't have a really abrupt, you want it to, um, to kind of feather out. So I unfortunately grabbed the wrong comb. So you want to put a comb on so it will feather out. I don't know if I can do it this way. So you don't have such an abrupt look, okay? I actually can do it without the comb, but you can, you can use a comb so it feathers out. Okay. And in the front, you wanna, you wanna leave this little bit in between their legs. nice narrow shoulder look with a little bit of a tuft in between the legs. So you want to feather this down and you can, don't bite. You can use a comb, uh, which I don't have right now. But you want it, you want it to be a gradual uh, look right here. You don't want it to go real short and then all of a sudden really long. And I see a lot of that. Um, 
You just want it to be gradual. Okay, so we're gonna go down her back. Now you see a lot of a lot of these uh, groomers will do a schnauzer cut that goes right straight like this, and that's not what we want for an Airedale. An Airedale is supposed to have a tuck up on their tummy. Okay, so we want to make a tuck up here. So we're gonna sh we're gonna shave the belly Go along the side here. Go right. Okay. So you want to leave here so they've got a big barrel chest and then a nice tuck up right here. Okay. And you want to trim all this down in here. And get her back all down here. Okay, we're getting to the tail. This is really touchy on a lot of dogs. So I do little bits at a time if they don't like it. Just go down the tail. She doesn't seem to mind. Oh, good girl, Chloe. Okay. So, and an older dog who's lost all of their black puppy, the saddle will come around here and that's what you want to be short. Okay, so you're gonna use your number 10 around that saddle there. And then you can put, stand up sweetie, and then you can put on um, one of the blades, I mean the, um, the teeth there, and you want to taper it down from there. Okay, so you don't want, you don't want them to have like a bloomer look here. So you want to kind of taper down, and you can use those combs, and usually a set of combs comes with the clippers, don't bite. I don't use the clippers down here on the furnishings. I use a comb to, to comb it out. her up and then I'll show you the finished product but I thought I would tell you for the beard and the eyebrows her eyebrows are kind of long so we want to trim the eyebrows okay. so they're longer uh, towards the center And then we're going to accentuate the, the little V shape here. I'm just going to put an extra clip there. Again, she still has a lot of her black puppy. puppy. So you want to pull the beard out. And you want to trim the beard so it's, it's stop. So it's even with the end of her nose. We're gonna finish her up and be back and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, to do the furnishings, I use a comb like this and get all the knots out. And pull them back out so they, all the hair stands out. And then take a pair of scissors and hold it out and just trim. The idea is you just want it to look nice like a like a tube. So nice and straight. And then on their feet you want to have you want to have the hair short and sometimes I use clippers for this and sometimes I just trim. She doesn't have a whole lot. But their feet are supposed to look small. So I just trim a little bit off the edges here. And then you want to check in between their pads and see if there's um, any hair caught up in there. And oftentimes there will be uh, hair that's all balled up with some dirt and you wanna, you wanna get that out. 
um, either with a comb or with a pair of scissors. If, they're, if they'll hold still for you, you can use a pair of scissors to go in there and pull that out. And she's got a little one. She's being a mother because she's a puppy. So and you do the same thing with the back legs. I'm using the wide, the wide teeth. And if there's anything in there that's really tough, like she has right here, I don't torture them trying to get it out. I just cut it here, sweetie. It may put a little chinger in there, but it's better than torturing the poor dog. Okay, so the same thing with the back legs. You want it to be straight. So we comb all the knots out. Comb the hair backwards so it sticks out, it's straight. I need you this way. And then I trim it. Don't pull it really hard because you don't want to pull it so hard your skin comes out and you cut them. But you want to trim this so it looks a little straighter. She needs more of a touch-up, but she's she's been a good girl for being just a puppy, aren't ya? Yes, look at that pretty girl. 